Ladies and gentlemen, I really, 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 really want you to show your love for this guy. This is his television debut right here tonight. So give it up for Jason Signs. Here he is, Jason. Come on, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi there, guys. Uh, thanks. This is a great show. Thanks for being here. This is uh, very exciting. I heard some good news recently. This is great. I heard they're finally coming out with, for his pleasure, condoms. <laughs> finally. Yeah, you open up the package, there's nothing inside. All right. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> this guy doesn't laugh, just tells you it's hilarious. Thank you so much for coming, sir. <laughs> I appreciate that. I, uh, my name is Jason Sines. I'm a half white, half Latino dude. That's me. All right, Latinos! Really? Ditto, half white, half Latino. But I'm never both at the same time. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Exactly, I'm either white or Latino depending on the situation. <laughs> like tonight before the show, walking around Chelsea, I was very white. Okay, I bought a cupcake through an ATM, all right? That's how I did it. <laughs> but if you guys want to smoke weed with me after the show, then I'll be very Latino, okay? But if the cops show up, then I'm very white again. You understand? I will turn you in. I have no problem with that. Uh, me and weed go way back, guys. In fact, my first ever experience with marijuana was smelling it around the house when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was too young to know what it was. All I knew is that my dad would go into the bathroom for 20 minutes and then come out smelling like cool dad. Yeah, Legos for breakfast with cool dad. Cool dad is way more fun than regular dad, guys. Uh, regular dad would sleep in on Christmas morning, but cool dad would wake me up excited because he legitimately forgot what he wrapped the night before. Yeah. Also, regular dad wouldn't let me see R-rated movies as a kid, but cool dad snuck me and my friends in to see Terminator 2 because he said that shit is definitely gonna happen. And he was right. Are you prepared? I, uh, I love getting high and going to the movies. Uh, I was there last year watching a movie called Pain and Gain. And uh, yeah, really shitty. Good, this is my crowd, good. And I thought it'd be a fun heist movie because it stars The Rock, you know? But no, The Rock plays a murderer in that movie. And there's a scene where he cuts off this guy's hands and starts grilling him on a barbecue outside of his house. Right? And it was really weird. I didn't know what to do, so I leaned over to my friend and I said, hey, you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> oh, and I killed. Oh my God. That movie theater loved me. It was amazing. I felt like a rock star. And when you're a comedian and you have a good joke, you can't let that joke die. So I went back to the 7.30, the 8.15, the 9.45, the 11 o'clock show was the greatest night of my life. But that joke cost me $300. So who's laughing now, Michael Bay? I got a teenage little brother and he's a piece of shit. You know? <sighs> Every time I go home to visit, he's always like, hey Jason, you're a comedian, but when do you get famous, huh? And I'm like, I don't know, man, you're a teenager. When are you gonna see a girl naked, huh? <laughs> yeah, and then he shows me his text messages. He's doing way better than I am, guys. <laughs> yeah. Kid's killing it. 
Speaking of teenagers, they listen to the worst music. Justin Bieber, he's awful. He got in trouble last year for egging his neighbor's house, but I don't see what the big problem is. He's known for smash hits. Well, that's not the worst I've ever failed, uh, guys. I, uh, I'm also divorced, so there's that. Uh, are we all divorced? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's have sad sex later. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like being divorced. It's cool. I got my own Netflix password now. I'm doing all right. You know? But I hate going to a new dentist office as a divorced guy. Hear me out, because whenever you go to a new dentist, they ask you to fill out your marital status on the paperwork, right? And it's never just single or married. They also throw divorced <laughs> down there at the bottom. But why does the dentist need to know that my marriage failed? <laughs> Is that helping him? Is he in the back going, hey, Jason, I was looking at your x-rays. Looks like you got some holes in your teeth. But I really wanted to talk about that hole in your heart. <laughs> Guys, I was raised Catholic, um, but I'm not practicing anymore because I tore my ACL. Um, but I do love the new Pope. Pope Francis, the new Latino Pope. We got some fans here. Oh, he's great. He's awesome. He says what he wants. He does what he wants. I don't even think he's Catholic. I really don't. I just think they went to Argentina to like find a cool Latino guy. He's like, hey, you want to wear some awesome hats? He's like, I'm in. Let's do it. He's great, man. When he was first pope, he said in an interview, he said, if you're a good person and you do good things in your life, but you're also an atheist, you can get into heaven. We did it. Oh, my God. I knew if we waited long enough, they'd just start letting everybody in, you know? Like heaven's turning into that college that just lowers their SAT scores every year because no one wants to go anymore. Pedophilia will do that, you know, lower admissions. <laughs> hey, heaven's turning into Penn State. There's going to be some rebuilding years. <laughs> it got so bad that the last pope quit. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. That must take a lot of balls to quit a job God gave you. <laughs> like, I know you're the Lord Almighty and everything, but this pedophilia is too much for my moral compass, and I was raised a Nazi, so I got to <laughs> get out of here. But I'm excited about Latino Pope. I really am. I don't need that. I love Latino Pope. He's great. He's letting everybody into heaven. He's doing it. He's like, come on, let's all go to heaven. Come on, there's plenty of room. I'm Latino. I'm used to fitting 15 brothers in a Corolla. Let's go. <laughs> Latino Pope. I'm excited about Latino Pope. Soon all the communion wine's going to have pieces of fruit floating in it. Latino Pope. <laughs> all right, some of you guys aren't laughing. I understand. You're probably thinking, hey, Jason, this is just another example of a Latino pope taking a white pope's job. I mean, I get that. <laughs> I get that. But he's a great pope. He'll wash your feet, but then he'll wash your car. Latino pope, let's do it again. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jason Sines. Enjoy the rest of the show.